I broke my cherry. Woo! Woo! Well, you know what? You know what's worse than the Taliban? A bipolar woman with a microphone. I am a newlywed. And my husband, yeah. <laughs> and my husband is getting hearing aids. He's paying $2,000 to hear me have an orgasm. Man, 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 I am something else. He uh, was married for 28 years, and his dear wife passed away, and then he met me, and his whole world turned upside down. He does not know anything about sex, but the missionary style. Yes, I know, you're thinking, poor man, poor man. Yes, I told him, I love sex, I know everything about sex, and he goes, well, you need to tell me, because I know nothing. Okay, so you know nothing about going down on a woman? He said, no. Okay, I will draw you a map. You turn right, you turn left, you turn, you make a curve. Yep, stop there. Go, go, go. Yeah, he, um, bless his heart. I love him to death. Um, he's working on it. He really is. Uh, you know, I, the thing is, uh, he went to the doctor and they were talking about maybe him giving him Viagra because he's having some problems. I said, hell no, no Viagra. Because I was with a man years ago and we had met, had a few drinks, and he pulls out his blood pressure medicine and he pulls out Viagra. No, I had never had experience with a man with Viagra. Well, rule of thumb, ladies, never fuck a man with Viagra. Four hours later, he's still pumping. I'm like, I'm getting sore. Please, God, make him come. And I'm like, please, please. When he finally did, he rolls over. He's snoring like a bear. I'm waiting for the sun to come up so I can get out of there. And what does he do? Are you leaving? Will you leave your number so I can take you fishing? Sure, sure. I slip out of there and I don't even remember his name and I want to forget that man for the rest of my life. <laughs> Do not go out with a man on Viagra. I'm telling you, ladies, men on Viagra need a blow up doll. Adam and Eve are right down the street. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hate to dog the pill, but I mean, it costs $100 a pill to keep them hard for four hours and it takes them four hours to come. Women, I'm sorry, I like it fast. I don't, I don't know. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yes, I'm that kind of woman. Yeah, I, I'm, I should have been a man. I'm sorry. I should have been a man. I like to screw and get it over with and roll over and go to sleep. Or I like to screw all night and wake up, have my coffee, and do it again. So, uh, yeah, men are uh, kind of crazy sometimes. They, uh, they think women are machines. They think they can just screw them and, well, that's it. Well, I got news for you. I don't leave my number. I do what I have to do and that's it. So ladies, I'm telling you, become a man. Have your way with him and don't leave your number unless you want to see him again. Or you desperately need sex. Then you keep it in the, uh, I need sex, I'll call him if I need it. Like I'm desperate. I desperately need to get laid on text him. Hey, you know what? Are you busy? Yeah, hey, yeah, I'll meet with you. And you have sex with him, and then you delete his number again. Yeah, block is my favorite thing on the cell phone. Block, block and delete. So my husband, so he, uh, he's learning. He's learning. He's, he's a great guy, though. So anyway, I uh, think that, um, since I was living in LA, I learned a lot from dating and I worked on the 900 lives, chat, sex, domination. Domination is my favorite. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you'd be surprised how many men like to be uh, spanked a lot. And I know it's horrible, but I enjoyed it. I'm kind of a dominant woman. <laughs> uh, they, they just, they get kind of, I see a wrapping up thing so I don't get to be dominant anymore. Sorry guys. But thank you.